All right, so let's save it and close it and double check that. Save it and close it. Tab to the right, tab to the right, skip to the loo, tab to the right. And then we're gonna go down and say accounts receivable and go into the accounts receivable. And there it is. Let's check it out. That's for the full amount, uh, including the sales tax. Looks good. Let's close that out. Let's go back to the balance sheet, back to balance and go to the tab to the right. Let's run it again. And so notice that most billable items, as we saw before, if it, if it wasn't assigned an item, it had to put it into this 200 billable expense. The items are what's driving it to this one here. So even though I used that billable thing to pull it over and it didn't really populate the amount correctly, it did populate the, the proper income account, which is driven by the item. So if I go into here and I check out this invoice, the item here did drive it to the proper income account, which we told it to do by item. Otherwise it would have gone into that billable thing if it was doing it by the billable thing. So I'm gonna close that out. So I don't know why they can't get the cost, the sales price instead of the cost. I wish they can fix that little quirk, which I'm hoping that they will at some point, but it's been a while now. And then the other side is gonna go into the sales tax. So there's the sales tax. And then we also have inventory going down. Here's the inventory. Inventory is decreasing by uh, by actually yeah by this amount, the three thousand uh, three sixty here, and then scrolling up, we also have going to the tab to the right, we've got the cost of goods sold being impacted, it going up the cost of goods sold. There it is, and then. The impact on net income is the income increased minus the cost of goods sold. And then on the balance sheet, the accounts receivable, we should also have a sub ledger. So if I go to the tab to the right, right click on it, duplicate it, looking at that by who owes us the money, we can open up a report like that, go into the reports to the left hand side, closing up the hand boogie, scrolling down to who owes you. Let's take a look at the accounts receivable summary report. Change that range to 0228.23, run it, run in. And so here we have it. So here's our customers, adds up to the 1981150. Does that tie out to the balance sheet? There it does. We also, of course, if I go to the tab to the left, we now have, if I go to the to the sales side, the customer center, and if I open up my customers, then I can sort my customers by who owes us money. So open invoices. And so there is that. And then here's new music stuff. So new music stuff. And I think that's the one. And then I can go into this one there's i believe the invoice we can send the invoice we can send a statement on it if we cho so choose and the next step of course is we expect to be receiving a payment on it and so if i was in the other view by the way which is the business view then you can find that in the get paid and paid area it's in the vendor section and then actually no it's not in the vendor section it's in the customers we're looking at customers now we're on the customer side of things. And then you can also find that by opening up the hamburger sales side. And I could go into the sales transactions and sort the transactions by invoice. I could do it up here, open invoices. And here's open down here too. So I can look at it that way. Where's that in the business view you may ask, or you may not, you may not care but I'm gonna show you anyway, because it's a little bit different. It's down here in the, in the bookkeeping, transactions, and then sales items. So there's that. And then if I go to the, in, go to the balance sheet, we also have the inventory that needs a sub ledger by units. So if I go to the tab to the right, open up the ham boogie, scroll down to the reports. Let's go in and check out the, in, the uh, inventory valuation summary just to make sure that everything's in order 02 28 23 with that report 
close up the boogie. So that now lines up to 6,266. I still have a negative unit of a GSB, which is kind of unusual, but because I messed up, we messed up, sorry, but it, we're still okay. So 6,266. So if I go over here, then we've got the 6,266. That ties out. That looks good. So everything looks like it ties out and therefore the world is okay for, for now.